Hey, here's another dirty white boy video. <laughs> uh, we are underneath the house getting ready to do a relevel. Decided. Hi, I'm to Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. <laughs> Hey, here's another dirty white boy video. <laughs> uh, we are underneath the house getting ready to do a relevel. Decided to sit somewhere near the center, and what we've done is set a block and then some wood and a block. We're not going to jack on it uh, because if, if we did, we wouldn't be able to use this one turned on its side. This is weaker when the blocks are turned on their side, they'll collapse. So, and so also we would have wood underneath here to keep this block from sinking in and there's a lot of things we wouldn't do if we were jacking with it but with my scary face um, what we're doing now is setting the water level up and so the play gets here with the end of it we'll set it to here theoretically the bottom of this beam and uh, we'll check it all and uh, we'll have you with us as I holler at them and he'll tell me what we are and what we are not. First thing we're going to do is go up or down with the water level which seems to be leaking. See that water? I know we supposed to water. Oh you did? Okay. Uh, and uh, going to need some water. We don't have much water left. Well, you have to get some water then. You can go ahead and turn that off while we drag on. Okay. Um, so now this is this is really uh, a nice house. This doesn't have a lot of uh, insulation in the way, um, hanging down. We're gonna fix that while we're under here. And uh, don't see any plumbing issues. Generally, I check. Make sure the plumbing's going downhill. No humps in the center of it. And in this case, it looks really good. Um, there may be a little bit of a belly right here. But it looks good. I don't know how to get that. Clay, is uh, he's on the other end of this water level, which is 50 foot long. And he's going to let me know once he gets through getting rid of all the cobwebs and spider webs in his way. How's that look? Yeah, it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time make sure the water level settles down doesn't go up and down while you're looking at it and that way you can get something accurate what do you got huh need to go up a half inch yeah. all right come on up or go across either way so what I'm doing first is I get like a uh, an idea of what we got to do and then we go after it we I mean once I understand sometimes you have to come down in this case we have uh, rock uh, skirting which is really quite the achievement that's a lot of work to do that free floating rock uh, skill and I don't want to you know knock it out to get it to drop down so we'll have to go up from that and in this case down there that corner down to my left is uh, it's got to go up And uh, hopefully, but if we find that it's way different on this end, we'll have to make a decision. But we're definitely wanting to go up. What you got there?
the guys in miners that you know they walk on their hands and knees and crawl into these big chasms less than a quarter of an inch that one's pretty good check the middle yeah. and then start working your way up i'll go in the middle of these two that's fine Stick you what? Kind of stick, stick? Yeah. Combo stick. Oh, okay. Yeah, we usually use a piece of wood, a limb or something, and uh, time we get. What's that? Dead on. Okay, that's good. Check the other side and make sure. But I think it's. It could be that that side needs to go up, but not much. Maybe a quarter if that one's a half over there. Okay, so we just got to go up on that side. We're up. Probably means we'll have to loosen up the straps. Uh, come on up this way. Go to this one over there. We're at? Up here where we're at, and then come across. The middle here is fine where I'm at, but at the far end. I hate being my face on the camera so much. See the star of the show. <laughs> Blue collar. Uh, if you consider I'm a white boy with a red neck and do blue collar work, that's red, white, blue. <laughs> <laughs> or red neck, white skin, and blue bruises. <laughs> you're low over there on that end mark on the, right there to your right or your left where the internet cable is no on your left your left the corner closest corner to you oh uh, where i'm at yeah yeah off to that corner that you're down okay. a little over a half inch so am i low on the end where the we haven't got there yet We've been setting up and everything, getting ready. Okay. A lot so, of preparation. I'm thinking it's probably going to need to be adjusted then, right? A little bit. Not a lot. Okay. I mean, I don't know yet. Less than a quarter inch high? <laughs> Three quarter inch high? Less than a quarter inch high. Okay, well, we ain't coming down. Well, we could come down a little bit. Or less than a quarter inch low, I mean, for that. So we need to go up with that a quarter yeah, inch? The whole side is low. So the oh. lower right there. Okay. So head across here and check this side. Okay. And then we'll go up a little what further and go across. Is over there. It looks like it's, uh, that pillar is it's a little cockeyed, maybe. Yeah, it's sitting on the concrete. There's been water standing in here uh, an inch high. You can tell by the mud stain. Might be. I don't know, but you can. There's a stain on the side of the blocks all the way around, right here. Here too. Inch and a half over here. So it was a lot of water in here at one point. The, I have all that your crossover ductwork has been crawled over enough that it's about half the size it should be. So yeah, I want you to replace that with metal. Yeah, we need to do that with some metal. I can measure it while we're here and okay. get an idea. Because I was thinking about that before you said something, and you reminded me. So I was like, yeah, that's what I'm wanting to do. So yeah. I almost said how. The Big old thick boy is going to have a hard time getting through there. That's pretty tight up in there. But, you know, if you're thinking about making things better, usually those mines go to the same place. 
if if you're thinking about making things better, usually all minds, you know, good minds go to the same areas. Oh yeah, true. Now, if it was Black Lives Matter, we might have this place burned down. You know that there's some black people I've been seeing online that are actually uh, they said that's a bunch of crap. The Black Lives Matter. Well, I I ain't seen them making anybody's this Black Lives better. Yeah, it's it's all about ten demands. Yeah, the Marxist trained right. group. Right, it's, uh, it's communism. It is communism. But hey, Bull crap. black lives do matter, but I don't believe you're going to get your message across by burning things down. Right, and violence. It's just a way to get by with their violence, and the Democrat people are using them. Yeah. Liberal people are using them. All that energy, think of all that energy went to fixing some, of the, some black people's houses in the slums. Hundreds of millions of dollars donated. Yeah, and then they burn them down. Yeah. How we doing? Dead on? Dead on. Okay. So uh, I come back over here and go up past Luke, and we'll check through here. Those next cars up? Yeah, but if you go with from that direction, you're going to get tangled up. Yeah. Yeah, you might as well come over here where I'm sitting at because you'll get. People more. ask me if I wear knee pads for this kind of work, and I'm like, no, because the the straps hurt me on the back of my legs more than the the rocks and stuff on the front of my knees yeah, of course now I had I hadn't had no heat knee surgeries yet actually I, uh, I, I have the cement hurts my knees well rocks ain't fun but you kind of learn how to use your hand to wipe the rocks out of the way sometimes right gingerly move your knee into place well if any of my neighbors come over here that's not authorized to be on my property which is most of them nobody has authorization I will let you know. And it, it really fatigues me. I've told them that they've had to leave or I will be calling the police. <laughs> it's funny I have to tell your neighbors, don't be in my yard. <laughs> well, they think it's a park. You know, uh, there's a, a YouTube channel called Get Off My Lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. He's the guy who started Proud Boys. He didn't mean for it to be, a, you know, as bad an image as it has, but he's... Gavin McGinnis, he was a comedian, but he kind of got into the... Proud Boys was... Antifa's all dresses in black and keep a mask. Proud Boys wears a, a white t-shirt with a pocket protector and glasses and and that geeky. So there was anti-Antifa. Right. But it got into a bit but more... Antifa is just damn... Terrorism. Yeah, yeah. That's why they... That's how the Nazis got started. Right. Went around making everybody... Drowning out other people that were talking against them. And My motto is, if you don't like it here, you don't like our flag, and you don't like it here, then get the hell out. You can move. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay it. We'll, we'll get you a damn ticket or something. Not, that's something I never have understood. Why they don't let uh, felons leave the United States. I say let them leave, don't let them come back. Right, exactly. Kick them out. <laughs> you can leave all you want, don't come back. Exactly. Kick them out, don't come back. Right, right. But if you're a felon and you want to be here, you'll stay here and you won't go anywhere because you can't come back. Right. <laughs> but if they leave, if that's... If you murder somebody, you just need to be put to death. Yeah, that, well, that's Unless kind of a... feed you all your life and care for you. It's kind of a Bible death. principle there. You know? Right, exactly. What we got? Oh, it's so much fun. <laughs> I've done... About dead on. A little bit high. A little, a little bit low. A little bit low. Needs to go up a little bit, but uh, okay. The same as that one down there. Okay, about a quarter inch. Less than a quarter inch. All right. Come on across. Yeah, I was raised a uh, poor white boy in Deer, Arkansas. <laughs> like the animal. Matter of fact, the basketball team was called the Deer Antlers. And uh, 
my mom and dad in the in the late '60s, early '70s, when we moved up there, uh, I had rheumatic fever, so I was bedridden a lot. And one day he said uh, I just decided to get up, and they said, "Well, let's let him go." And I'd push my bicycle to the top of the hill and ride it down to the bottom, It'd be all wore out. Push my bicycle up to the top of the hill and ride it down to the bottom. And there weren't no tiny hills, you know, like rolling hills. It was a pretty good size hill. Anyway. We had uh, lots of friends come over, and they would always just come to visit during the daytime because they were worried. At the time, I think the Grand Wizard was in the next county over, which is uh, south, or well, south, north into Harrison area. Um, and I didn't know what that was, but we had lots of friends of all different colors, Asian, black, Hispanic. That was in the 70s. And... I was never, that looks pretty good, Clay. I never had any kind of prejudice at all. I mean. It's the same as all those. So if you like that, then they're all good. All these are good. All these in this area, okay. Yeah. Keep on going across and then we'll go on up here and check those ones up, up there. I think we're gonna be low in that far corner over there. Cause it shows it. I never thought that Harrison, Arkansas was like the home of it. Well, you didn't see many. You didn't see no black people then. Now you see a few. So, you know, tolerance has certainly improved. Uh, anyway, I I was uh, a young person was a young person. The old person was old person. So, you know, when I was raised, you the kids didn't eat until the adults then got their food. Oh, is that still that way with your family, Luke? I used to, but not anymore. Yeah. So it didn't matter if you were black or Asian or Mexican or Venezuela. My, we were going to live, move into Venezuela. And uh, we had Aren't a lot of... are you happy to make that decision? Now? <laughs> I'm glad we didn't go to Venezuela or stay there. Anyway. You're good. Okay. Good job. Keep on going. I know that's hard on the knees, but you're doing what's that's necessary. pretty soft. Um, so... I mean, we played Hot Wheels and pushed cars in the dirt, which I didn't have many. Uh, if we had a brick, that was greater, man. A brick was a rare thing. All we had was rocks, dirt, sticks. Um, so anyway, uh, I went to 13 schools the last nine years of school. So 13 different ones. And I don't think that is a bad thing. It was traumatic for me in a lot of ways because uh, when I went to Houston and New York, New York, I had to do a lot of fighting until the well, ones in New York, the, the teachers in New York said, let's take that country boy with us because, and I'd be like, yes, ma'am. Oh, you can't say that to me. That's kind of, I don't want you to call me ma'am. I said, well, my parents taught me better than to st talk to any way but that to a, um, my p uh, older peers. And so I, I gotta, I, I'd be in trouble if I don't call you yes ma'am or yes sir. So they really adored that in my southern accents. <laughs> By the way, I kind of chameleon, chameleon to whatever accents around me. What do you got over there? Uh, we're right a quarter inch left. We gotta go up? Yeah, I think it's gonna be that way as you go up into that corner. We're gonna end up going up some more. Good job. Okay, you need to come back this way, go around that ductwork, go through there, cross that up up top. Man, that sounds real easy. He's fixing to do all the crawling. It used to be me, and I would do it again by George. Might have to tie a rope to my to me someday. I'll be doing it when I'm 70 plus. And have to drag me out. Because I lost my energy. <laughs> I think the day you lose your energy is the day you retire. I might die is the day I retire. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what it is to not work. Uh, I can't see you without energy. Then uh, you're doing something every time, every day, every minute, every hour. Try. I don't want any of my time to be wasted. Of course. Hugging on my woman and kissing on her is not wasted energy. I always get return. So, 
Investment is good. And you want to know what the most expensive thing you waste when you go fishing? Huh. It's time. You never get it back. You're right. You're absolutely right. Maybe, maybe but maybe that's what's therapeutic for you. You got a stressful job and you go throwing a line or hooking bait into the water. It feels good for you. So, uh, anyway, got into a lot of fights. It didn't matter if it was white people or black people. There was always bullies. There's always people who are loud and want to pick on somebody who's meek. So I learned to be real tough, real fast. And I learned to not take a beating anymore after I took a few. Crawl behind his duck work? Go around it if you can. Don't get stuck in there. We don't want to be tying a rope to your feet. I don't think I, I have hammers, but I don't have shovels. I'm not sure I can even squeeze under there. Uh, can you go over this way? I can go that way and go around it. And go yeah, why don't you do it over here? Oh. You, have to go to this corner here. you can if you want, whatever way you want to do it. You can go right over here in the center. You can see where some fat boys crawled over. That's something James would do. Yeah, squash it. You know what? I was under a house one time in Rogers, that West Central house, real expensive house. And I was way back in there. I mean, I was I couldn't even roll over without being in between the floor joists. And I'm like, finished. I roll over. There's James right there. And he, I said, what in the world are you doing here? He's big old, but he squashes down like a, what, a lizard or something, you know. He's not as round. He's flat. He's wider, you know, like he might be three foot wide, but he squeezes under uh, 12 inches or something. But there he was. I said, James, whatever you do, don't you get stuck in front of me because there's only one way in and one without unless we had to dig another hole. And uh, don't you get stuck in front of me because I don't want to be, I want to be able to get out of here. <laughs> and he, he started laughing. It's not making me laugh. I can't breathe. But, uh, anyway, I have always, all through my life, had friends of every skin pigment, every nationality that I can think of. We're a quarter inch, no, we're an inch high or low. You need to go up over there? Yeah. Okay. How we, how'd you go from there? Okay, I see what it is. Come back over here. Uh -huh. Um, come back over here. Okay. Why don't you shut that down and go get me some water, Luke? It's Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.